buddy. How are you doing there, friend? Good boy. Good morning. Yeah. Hello, Nard. Looks like I'm chewing gum, right? That's actually what I was gonna come and talk about. God. Norton update. How is wisdom teeth tattoo? Mm. Wisdom teeth. They're feeling better. They got me taking some little pump right now, so I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> By that I mean drugs. Um, tattoo. Tattoo's feeling. It's healing. It's 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 making progress. Oh yeah, I have some fire ass news. Norton yeah. is back on Instagram. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I like Instagram. You can do it does it. have good memes, bro. You go on the explore page and it's just so much memes. Oh, bro, your present is coming. Really? Today. Yeah, it is. Do they know I live? No, I haven't told them yet. I haven't told anybody, but I think you're gonna like it. You really haven't told anyone? I think you're gonna like it. It's a gift from the carrot. But yo, check it out. So you may have noticed that this morning I woke up a little bit late. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, my reason, basically last night I was gonna go to bed and then I walked past Sky. I mean, him got into like some really kind of deep talks and we were just talking for hours and hours and hours about society and poverty and wealth yeah, and all these- to be honest with you, me and Sky have had the same conversation and bro, he just bullshits. He doesn't actually care about poverty. Nah, bro, listen, because we were getting to the end of it and he said something really introspective, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, yo, Luke, you check it out. Like, you humans are mad complex. You should take a page out of our dog book. And he said, to end world peace, make, make not more war, pain. make more pain make and more pain it's better. <laughs> That's the, really the answer to world peace. Make not war, make, make more pain it's better. It's really uh, as simple as that. Holy shit! Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Bruh. But honestly, I don't fuck with the whole, I mean, I haven't used Oh, so yet. you already know everything about it? Yeah. Every single time this happens, I like get on Fortnite and the new season's there and I completely oh, forgot that. I look like, at notes and I look at every little thing. Oh, oh, I'm a nerd. It's okay, you're a nerd with a sick horse on your, on your yeah, you got a horse. This motherfucker? Oh, it's Tifu. Everything for a swagged out Tifu? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. We're what? Wait, what was that? What? No way. <laughs> they threw the running man in there, bro. Yeah, my guy's been doing that. That's a throwback AF, yeah, bro. Whoa, chill. Yarn. He prison breaks oh, in here. Guy, are you familiar with the show Prison Break? What's up, dog? What are you doing tomorrow? What's this? Who's that? What's he doing tomorrow? What's he doing yesterday? Bro! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> look! Look! <laughs> See, bro, if I was like a pro and I had to play in that situation, someone get fucking punched in the nose. <laughs> I swear to God. Literally anyone. It's like the random ref saying, "Hey, man, you good? No." <laughs> I'm not good! Guys, this morning, we got moves to make. I really like starting my days off playing basketball. I think I've talked about this in a couple other vlogs, but I try to play a couple hours every morning. It just wakes me up, it's a good start to my day. And it's also one of like the skills that I really try to get better at every day. Check it out, okay? I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys how I see life, and you tell me if it's interesting or if I just sound crazy. So when I turned 22 years old, I started looking at my life as if it was a video game. It was a couple days after I turned 22, and I kinda, I just felt like I was kind of getting old. Like 22 is not really old, but what I'm trying to say is you kind of have all these birthdays that you get really hyped about. Like when you turn 16 in the US, you can get your driver's license and then 21, you can start drinking or whatever. There's like certain like little milestones, like 18, you're an adult. And when I turned 22, I was like, Oh, okay, well, what now? You're just kind of getting older at that point year by year. It's a little bit depressing. So like I said, I started looking at, at my life as if it was a video game. Every birthday you have, you level up. So I'm level 22. And for those of you that play video games every day, what do you do? You try to get better every single day at the video game by just leveling up certain skills in the game, just trying to get better and better. So in the video game of life, I try to just improve my skills every day. I kind of see it like RuneScape, which is one of like the first video games I ever really, really played. I used to go hit the library after school every single day to play on those library computers. My parents didn't let me play at home. But like in that game, you have all these little skills that you can improve on every day and get to level 99. So I'm trying to get all my skills to level 99. Basketball is one of them. Making music's another one. So every day I just try to be a little bit better than the, the day before. It sounds Sounds kind of cliche, it might sound crazy, but I think it's kind of cool. Let's go play some ball. There's mad cars in front of our house right now. So I'm guessing there's mad people in our house right now. We're about to find out. Whoa, okay. Okay, hello people. What, what? You see all the interview stuff that they put downstairs for me? No. You didn't see any of the shit that they put down? I'm just about to do an interview. I'm about to get interviewed. Just, just be authentic. Be like you. Oh, we're doing it in here? Yeah. It's this guy's poop room, man. So that's why you saw that the couches blocked it all off. Hello, how are you? How are you? Norden, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Wait, you're on... Um, chair? No, Rain. Tico. No, Rain. Rain, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm That's the one. Everybody. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> and that's a ticket. So if you were an interviewer and you had me as your guest, what would you ask? 
How you doing, man? <laughs> I already got nothing. Do you want to play some Fortnite later? Yeah, bro, that's literally. Thanks for watching, man. Peace. Damn, I didn't even realize how legit this was, but I got interviewed. I had an audience too. Tico and Norm were sitting in the back. I don't know if you guys are ever gonna see these interviews, but uh, doing a phase might catch them on YouTube. They're just asking us a bunch of questions, but this is cool. Got the full setup in our house. We don't get this a lot in our in our crib here. That guy over there. I thought we were like real friends, but nah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Why? We are enemies. Are you guys beefing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Undercard, we have the main fight, bro. <laughs> Wait, are you done with your interview? Yeah, yeah, I did it. So that means Norden's up. And, uh, you didn't do it? You said people were waiting for me? Yeah. Yeah, because he's me. Last. I was waiting for you. They were waiting for you, but, but, you, but you wouldn't go. I asked you straight up, but I saw the number three kind of guy. He did say that. I was there. He's just hoping to not do it because it's not for his name channel. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it for my channel anyways. Oh. Yes, it is. Here, come, come over here. It has to be the thing you're talking about. Let me just down the shake real quick. Why do I gotta promote ECS for no reason in this? Well, <laughs> we're doing a quick little t-shirt show up. Hold up. First off, there's no way I thought I was gonna leave this on under. All right, buddy. All Virgil's out. What's up, boys? Are you ready for your present? Yeah. Okay, so he, he already actually predicted exactly how my reaction would be like. It's gonna be like, can I just do it before I actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna do my best. We don't don't let them see Sky in a cage with it. I look He's like being a, a bad guy. boy, dude. It's He's fine. He's being a bad boy. It happens. And I have to, cause I see I have a discipline with the God I'm due. And he's, he's getting out. We don't have to talk about Sky, it's all good. It's not a crazy gift. It's in the box. And it's not even that thoughtful of a gift. But it's still in the box. But it's something that had to be made. And it was a tiny, tiny little inside joke I talked about not too long ago. You told me what I'm gonna say is. But this is right here. Dude, what'd you, what, what'd you predict again? You said, you didn't I have said, to do this or whatever. Nah it, nah, it was gonna be like, dude, this is awesome. And then, and then I give you a hug or something, right? Yeah, something but like that. I give you the hug? No, you don't have to give me a hug. I don't? Nah. It's a hug-free present. Maybe like a pat on the back, honestly. So it's like a band. Something like that. This is trash, right? The outside, I can cut it up? Um, the cardboard box. I'm sure if you literally just put it down right here, and you slice along this edge all the way, it'll open. Okay. I missed sliced. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, is it wood? Is it grew? Is it pomage? It's definitely not pomage. But that was close. Grew? No, it's not group. Can I take this off? Yeah, go so for it. it. Wait. <laughs> does it say go speak? <laughs> Wait, why does it say go speak? Well, I'll, I'll explain it to you in a second. I remember we made an inside joke, but I don't know what that means. Well, no way! Yeah. <laughs> You're so stupid, bro. <laughs> how, how awesome is that, bro? That's awesome, like, bro. Thank you. That's so funny. That actually looks, that's like Fortnite text, too, huh? Yeah. That's actually pretty fire. I know exactly where this is going. Show them where it goes, Norton. Ah! You put it right there, or you could probably put it up there, too. That's honestly where I was thinking, but that's cool, too. You know why? This is right, Ghost Peak. So that's the Ghost Peak. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, it took it out actually. Something you can do in Fortnite, mm -hmm. you used to be able to do in Fortnite. When me and Norton mm -hmm. first started playing the game and we first started getting real good, we're like, damn, all these pros can Ghost Peak. We thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then we moved into this house, there's this window in Norton's uh, dirty ass closet. No, don't show them. Like, I think it was one of the first nights you were like, we Ghost Peak out of this window. Like, yeah, stand right here. You guys off here. Look. Cause you can see all the cars. So right I, see here, where, right? I see when all the broders come in. You see how this ghost speaking real quick? And now I got the real ghost speaking. And now you got the ghost speak, yeah. Reminds me, y'all. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Thanks, man. No problem. Wait, 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 wait. Norton, you should come out with it. You should like walk out with it in your hands. But he's not gonna get it. He's actually not gonna get it. Bro. He will though. I mean, he won't get like why it's dope, but he'll like know what the fuck it is, bro. Taku. Taku. He doesn't get it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, but I don't know why you guys got it. Okay, so when we first moved into the house, we used to peeking over. We used to go to that window, and this is the ghost peak window. So I got him that to just put right over the so window. I remember that whenever I'm here. Oh yeah, I'm I was so confused. I know. <laughs> I'm so confused. But doesn't it look cool? Look, dude, like this window right here. <laughs> One day he was like, I can see you guys, like when you guys leave and shit. And I was like, what? And then he's like, look, I can, I can ghost, peek. ghost peek. And just ghost peek like that. Oh my God. So then we just that put it here. 
Awesome. <laughs> That's some effort too, like honestly. I know, effort off like the yeah, smallest bro. meme I ever said. Yeah. <laughs> guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Real quick before I leave you guys, I'm actually gonna give away one of those Ghost Peak signs. Uh, the person who made them is actually a good friend of mine. He kinda made more than just one, which was the one I was gonna give it to Norton. I'm gonna give one away on my Instagram. All you really gotta do to uh, win it is go to the picture that I posted of Norton holding the sign and just leave a comment. Tomorrow I'm gonna go through all the comments. I'm just gonna pick one profile and DM that person. But also, if you don't win the giveaway and you still really want one of those signs, I'm selling them. It's the first link in the description. You can buy it there. If you don't want the word Ghost Peak on there, you can get your name printed on there too. My homie, whose name is Justin, by the way, can pretty much make anything happen. Although I think only nine letters fit on that wooden board. So anything that's nine letters long, you can get it printed. First link in the description. Second link is going to be my Instagram. Uh, like I said, all you got to do to win is just leave a comment uh, on that picture I posted of Norm. But it'd be dope too if you guys could follow Justin. I'm going to link his Instagram right underneath. He makes some dope stuff. He also happens to be the guy who's uh, designing my album artwork. So if you follow him, you might be able to get a little sneak preview of that. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you guys did, smash that like button. Hope you guys have a great extra day. And that's been it. Peace. <laughs>